Welcome to Login with SSI in Web2. So what is actually Login with SSI? It's when a user uses their verifiable credentials, so VCs or their decentralized identifiers, DITs, to authenticate and log in into a Web2 application. And to make this all possible, we use the Vault ID IDP kit. And it acts here as a facilitator so it is at the end an OpenID Connect compliant identity provider that can be integrated with any identity and access management tool out there. For example, Keycloak, of zero, Firebase. And the IDP kit makes sure that the verification of the VCs and DITs is done correctly and that the user can use any credential wallet they want to use. So how does this all now actually work? So we start here at the top with the user who visits a website, so a Web2 application, and then goes to the login button and is presented with multiple options like login with Google, the typical email and password login, and then now login with SSI. So the user clicks that and will be redirected to a front-end application of the Vault ID IDP kit, where the user can then connect their identity wallet and share the required verifiable credentials. And what the IDP kit then does, it takes the shared credentials, processes them, and then transforms the response of the verification into a language that the IMM tool actually understands. So a JSON web token with the different claims and scopes. And then the IMM tool can create a session for the user and the user is logged in. Let's now quickly jump over to a demo and see everything in action. I have here my identity wallet, which holds one verifiable ID. If I quickly log in again, I see here my verifiable ID with the DIT here at the bottom. And what we now will see if I go back to this application and now trick sign in, I have these two options. So I will be selecting the sign with SSI. And here I'm now requested to log in with my web wallet. So I will be using the first option, but I could also use my mobile phone and just scan this QR code and thereby share my verifiable credential. So let's click login with web wallet. And I get now this verification request where I need to share my verifiable ID with the website. So I accept that. And what will happen, it will map my name in the verifiable credential, as well as my did to the standard OIDC claims and the profile scope and therefore make them available to the application. Now that you've seen how it actually looks like in reality, let's go quickly over why you would use the IDP kit for a decentralized identity provider. First, it works with any IMM tool. So as long as the identity access management tool like Keycloak of Zero is built on top of OIDC, the IDP kit can be used for VC and did login. The great thing is because the IDP kit is built on top of our current infrastructure, so the SSI kit, it also comes with all the features the SSI kit offers. And therefore you have a wide range of DIT methods going from key, web, app, C, IOTA, and checked, and many more, as well as different credential formats like the JSON web token or JSON LD or the SD charts. And you are super flexible when it comes to customizing the verification of VCs and DITs. You can use default verification policies or write your own custom policies with the open policy agent and the Rego language. And you can also configure what credential data is mapped to the standard scopes and claims or even define custom scopes and claims that can be then forwarded to the identity and access management tool during login. And because we are open source under the Apache 2 license, you can come and leverage all the functionality we already have and extend where needed our modular system. 
So start your day and build your login with SSI solution using the Vault ID IDP kit. Visit our website at vaultid slash IDP kit or click the link in the description to go directly to the docs and get started. Happy building. See you next time.